Robert Lee Williams from propheticinformationministries.com and godsmiracleministry.com. Today is November the 28th, 2016. I want to share with you a dream that I had back on November the 14th of 2016. I think it's a very important dream and uh, I'm going to need a little interpretation with this because there's a diagram that I saw and I'm going to show that when I get to that point of the dream and if you can help me out with this and what this symbol means I'd appreciate it. Okay, in this dream I was with an old friend of mine that uh, I was raised up with and we were like on a tour uh, of a, a large stadium and uh, we sat at the very one of the very top seats and this was like a football game going on down there and uh, this one blonde lady comes sits next to me very attractive and then I turn to my friend and I say hey she's pretty cute and uh, and then I said, let's go to the concession stand. Let's get something to, to eat or something. And um, I, uh, we went down there, and, and I saw this concession stand, and they had this, you know, big, thick piece of ham, you know, in slices. And I said, man, that smells good. It looks good. And then uh, I said, I think I'll get one. But I thought I would get one for myself, my friend, and uh, this lady. You know, I didn't know this lady. And um, so I reached for my wallet, and my wallet was gone. I remembered that I had to pay to get into the stadium. But uh, I, I said, oh, I'm not worried about it because I put my credit card in my pocket. But uh, I, I got a little worried about my wallet, so I went, kind of went back up to the seat where I was at, and it wasn't there. So I did not know where it was, and that lady was gone, and, you know, my friend, I don't know where he ran off to. But I was looking over the stadium, and I saw something very unusual over there. And what I saw was a great big wall, but it had two gates on it. It would open up, and then somebody could walk in, and it would close, and another gate would open up, and you could go in. Well, this, what I was seeing, it, it kind of reminded me of the city of Jerusalem, or it was looking into heaven. And, and I think it was looking into heaven because you could see from the stadium where I was standing at, you could see into it a little bit over the walls of where these gates were. And I knew that I had to go check this out. Um, and I know that in a lot of my dreams, I was able to fly. So I just took off flying over the stadium and, and get around, get close to these gates. And, and I noticed there was a, like a check-in point there, a, uh, a counter. So I, I stood in this small line and, and there was a person in front of me and uh, I think it was a lady. And they were four, I think they were four angels because they were dressed in, in, in all white, but they had black hair and it curled up under. These were Chinese ladies, and because, um, you know, they're, they're beautiful hair, you know, and the way they looked. And uh, they also had an accent to them, a Chinese accent. Well, two of these uh, ladies, they took this other lady in front of me and and, and, and dealing with her and these other two, they came out from uh, behind the, the, the counter. And uh, they said to me, you're not ready yet. And, and I, I took one step back. I said, well, I don't have to stop here. I can just fly over and go in. 
you go in, but they said, we'll get you ready. I said, okay. And uh, they showed me on this counter was uh, like different color of tallits. I, I do believe that's what it was. And uh, so they, they, I got one, you know, the, I don't remember what color I looked for. I was looking for a white one because I wear a white tallit. I didn't see a white tallit, so I just picked this other color out. And then they put it on me. You know, first they stuck it on my head, and then they put it around my shoulders. And one went behind the counter. And uh, this other lady, she was uh, drawing different things on my face and on my forehead, you know, with, with these paints. And I looked over the counter to see what this other lady was doing. She was drawing, or, or she was, was um, you know, when you have an artist and, and they have their, their pad there with uh, different types of uh, paint on it. Well, this was on a piece of paper, and they had all kinds of different paints, and she would dip her finger into it and was, was putting paint, different symbols on this diagram. Well, this is the diagram, you know, that I saw in my dream. I'll see about getting a little closer. You know, uh, I've, I've never seen nothing like this. Um, but she was drawing different diagrams in there. And uh, then she started to prophesy to me. And uh, I wanted to pay attention, you know, because she had that Chinese accent, you know, a little hard to understand, but you could understand them. But I knew that, you know, when they were saying something, I, I didn't want to say, yeah, mm, yeah, you're right. I would just nod my head so I could pay attention because I knew in my dream I had to pay attention to what they were saying. This lady uh, said that um, you're suffering from great loneliness. And I'm shaking my head, you know. And then... Uh, they said, you have a lot of love in your heart. You have a lot of love for people. I'm shaking my head, yes. And then uh, they said, you want to serve the Lord. And uh, so they were just about ready to hand me this piece of paper. And then I could go in, but I want to describe the gate, the first gate. It, it would sl it would slide open and then it'd close. You know, it was a long gate, you know, but it had horses on it. It had chariots on it, and and looked like some soldiers. Kind of looked like Roman soldiers when they would ride on the chariots and things. You know, it's very. It looked like it was made out of wood. It was a very unique gate. I've never seen nothing like it. But you could walk through the first gate, and then that one would close, and then the other one would open, and then you could go into the city. And uh, I was really looking forward to going in, and then uh, I woke up from the dream. And... Uh, so my interpretation on this, you know, that angels are going to be assisting me, are getting me ready to go, I think, into heaven, because I wasn't ready at the time. And, uh, but it was a very quick work, you know, just to paint my face and to draw something on this diagram. And then they was going to give me the paper and I was going to go in. So this is going to happen quickly. You know, I've had a previous dream about a month ago that I put up on YouTube already that I was also going into heaven as well. Uh, I don't think that's 
it, it's I don't I don't think that you know God's you know I'm going to die or anything and go to heaven. I don't think that. I think that uh, God's getting me ready to go into the next level, and then to the next level. Like there's two more levels to go, and then after I finish those levels, I I think maybe I would go into heaven or I would. You know, because I've been showing a lot of dreams in my youth that I would have the instantaneous healing gift and things like that. God's, you know, I think God's getting me ready to to be put out in the forefront. And uh, I'm going to explain that on the next dream that I had just a few days ago. But if anybody out there watching this program, if you could look at this design again, and tell me what is this design? What does it mean? I would appreciate that. But I never seen nothing like it. But I like to know. I'm sure there's a meaning to it because you know they were putting different markings in each one of the blocks, and then into the the four circles and around and the, and the center circle as well. I don't know what that means. So if anybody has any idea what that is, I'd appreciate you telling me. Well, I'm going to close right now, and then I'm going to go tell you this other dream about the white microphone. Okay, this is Minister Robert Lee Williams from propheticinformationministries.com and godsmiracleministry.com. And uh, I would really like you to sign up for the Shofar newsletter on the website and uh, check out all the videos and, and teachings that I have on YouTube and, and, and what I have on my website. Thank you for tuning in. Till next time, this is Minister Robert Lee Williams. God bless each and every one of you.